Let's go ahead and go to this clip of Obama openly here trying to sell you dictatorship. I can fix everything. Just let me do whatever I want. We've heard that before in history. Here it is. The Senate blocked a bill that would have created this commission. So I'll issue an executive order that will allow us to go forward because I refuse to pass this problem on to another generation of Americans. I know some here wish that I could just bypass Congress and change the law myself. I know there's some folks who wish I could just bypass Congress. Super creepy. I can't. I, can. now, I know some people want me to bypass Congress and change the laws on my own. Believe me. And cheering for tyranny. Yes, yes, we're idiots. We really think you're good. You remember the very same bankers Bush was. And 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 believe me, uh, right now dealing with Congress, the idea. Yes, we can get rid of Congress. Well, those folks would take your guns in a minute. Uh, believe me, the idea of, of doing things on my own is very tempting. And then we've got him being sworn in, saying he'd protect and defend the Constitution. Yeah, one of the people he's putting forward uh, with these recess appointments without ever trying to actually get him through Congress... I was named Chief Operating Officer of Citigroup's Alternative Investments Unit. He is a member of the Council on Foreign Relations, and it just goes uh, over all of that. Yeah, replacing another mob boss daily. I mean, literal mafia. So this is the type of garbage uh, that we uh, deal with. Oh, man, it makes my head spin. Yeah, William Daly is resigning as White House Chief of Staff, and the Budget Chief Jack Lew will take his place. And no need to get him appointed. Who needs Congress? You can launch a war without him, whatever you want. Here's another clip from Real Clear Politics uh, of Obama being creepy. Here it is. These are ideas that I support from Democrats. They have support from Republicans around the country, independents around the country. I want to work with Congress to get them done. But when Congress refuses to act, and as a result, hurts our economy and puts our people at risk, then I have an obligation as president to do what I can without them. Yeah. Yeah. I hit pause for a minute. See, this is more recent. It was just a few weeks ago or like a week ago. This is what's happening. See, first, the last three years is it'd be great to not have Congress, but unfortunately, I got to follow the law. And then a few months later, maybe it would be good if they weren't there. Maybe I will do what I want. And now, years later, yep, I'm doing what I can. Launching war, shutting down power plants. And they're just like, yay, destroy the country faster. This new Lou guy's involved in all these energy companies and payoffs, and I mean, it, it's just mind blowing. Let's uh, go back to the rest of the club. I've got an obligation to act on behalf of the American people. The foreign and I'm bankers. I'm going to stand by while a minority in the Senate puts party ideology ahead of the people that we were elected to serve. Oh, now you're not going to stand by. Stay. Not at this make or break moment for middle class Americans. We're not going to let that happen. No, he's going to help you. Oh, he cares so much about you. That's enough. Thank you. He goes on and on. Yeah, uh, this is the guy when Congress wouldn't give approval for the uh, Libya situation. He just said, well, I, I get my authority from the U.N. I mean, there's no reason to even have a Congress. And I'm not saying they're going to save us either. They're a bunch of crooks that need to be impeached. And again, it's out of this extreme criminality, this extreme Arrogance towards the rule of law, constitution, checks and balances, our protections, common sense, what makes America, America, that they sit there. It's like a bunch of body snatchers 
you know, pointing at Ron Paul like he's the guy that's the weirdo. When really, I mean, if you study the Constitution Bill of Rights, Ron Paul is just following the Constitution. But it's so alien today because we've gone so far down this rat hole.